Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we have talked about first ten journals. That is, uh, what is the frequency of the journal? What is the cost? If there is no cost, and what is the scope? Everything. Okay. So in this video, we'll be discussing the eleven to fifteen journals. That is, abdominal radiology till academic medicine. By the end, we will also check whether it is there in Scopus, and also we will check whether it is there in the Web of Science as well. So this is what the complete video is all about. We will also discuss about uh, what is the frequency of the journal, what is how many days they are taking, average days they are uh, taking to respond to the first uh, after the first submission, whether it is paid or unpaid journal. <clears throat> everything so this is the first one abdominal radiology you can see that this is the abdominal radiology and this is springer so as we have already discussed that in springer almost all the journals will be free of course that is to publish your paper if it is once it is accepted the only thing is if you want to go with the uh, that is open access okay that is if you want your journal to be available for your article to be available for everyone then you have to pay some specific amount that is we call it as an article processing charges that is open access charges only so here abdominal radiology you can find the scope of the journal that is uh, here you can see uh, okay so here you can find what is the scope of the journal since it is showing like abdominal radiology it related to uh, that is uh, abdomen and uh, uh, it is related to medicine based okay so here you can find uh, these are all related on the gastrointestinal and uh, um, uh, and genitourinary tract and abdominal interventional and radiologic procedures so this relates to this and uh, you can also if you scroll down you can see that 35 days submission to the first decision it takes 35 days to respond back okay and uh, <clears throat> let us see if that is the, if whether they have given any scope of uh, a scope of the index okay whether they have given any scope uh, okay so if you go to the submission guidelines okay aim and scope you can find what is the aim and scope of the journal completely okay and uh, this is the scope abstracted indexed in okay these things and you can also see that if you go to the submission guidelines you can find <clears throat> whether they are charging any cost okay so they are asking only for open access publishing and even if you search for any charge or free so it is free 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 and if you check for fee they are just mentioning about the uh, mentioning about the including information on fees funding and likes that is open access so it is free if you don't want to go opt for the op that is a uh, publication only okay let us also check whether this is there in scopus as well so you can go to the scopus and yes i think it is there in scopus we'll also check whether it is there till now okay abdominal radiology it's there in annexure one it's there in scopus and uh, we will also check whether it is there in sci okay yes it is there in SCA great so you can directly go with the open access and here they haven't mentioned what is the frequency of the journal if you want to know about that as well then we have an another trick if they haven't mentioned anything you know if they haven't mentioned like uh, uh, how many days like uh, what is the frequency of the journal then you can find it here with the issues okay just click view all volumes and issues here you can find they they are uh, that is they have uh, they have six issues per year okay so the here you can find they have six issues per year okay sorry they have 12 issues per year this is jan from one that is january they have published february march april may june they have published if you take the last year you can see that there are 12 issues so they are issuing every month they are issuing okay so this is 12 uh that is 12 issues per year so you can if you if you are uh, domain is related to medicine or radiology you can go ahead with us so let us go to the next one that is uh, this is the next journal okay so here you can find this is the journal name okay and if you want to know more about the journal you can just see see here they have not see most of the uh, uh, journals they will not be mentioning like how many days they will take to uh, they 
take to give you the first decision okay in such a case if you want to know about it you can simply mail that that there is you can get the mail contact the journal you can check, check get the uh, mail id and send them a uh, uh, that is uh, you can mail them and get a response to them from them okay so here it is related to pure mathematics okay algebra complex analysis and geometry differential geometry and global analysis graph theory and discrete mathematics number theory and algebraic to topology so here as i told if you want to find about how many what is the frequency of the journal you can look at the issues in the journal so i think they are uh, issuing only two issues that is by uh, that is by uh, that is quarter the, sorry half yearly journal that is one year in a year they are only publishing two issues so you can see that in april they are publishing one and in october they are publishing one okay so uh, of course it will take some time to publish so they haven't mentioned the that uh, that is uh, what is the frequent that is what is the average time to respond as well and since it is a springer journal uh, it will be asking for only open access okay anyhow if you are planning to send them any mail just also ma mail them whether they you whether they are uh, whether they have any article processing charges as well they haven't mentioned anywhere here okay so let us see whether it is there in scopus and sci okay so let us check in scopus and web of science okay so i'm just searching yes it is there in science citation index expanded it is there in web of science we will also check in um, scopus i don't think so it is there in the scopus because it's not showing up yes it is there in web of science so you can directly go ahead with this okay so this is what the second journal let us discuss about the third journal that is academia revista so let us see where it is yeah it is an emerald uh, inside publisher so here you can find that uh, three things we have to check one is the price second one is the frequency and third one is what how many days they are taking to respond it back so from here itself you can see that they are they are issuing four they have four issues per year okay that is the one thing which we have clarified and the second one what we have to check it what what is the price of the journal so we can click here about the journal and uh, here you have various aim scope and everything let us go for um, author guidelines and let us check for fee yes so see after you have agreed a fee they will okay we are pleased to partner uh, language support translation if you want uh, the support of translation and partner support then you have to pay a free fee okay so that is the first one second is what um, journal aims in scope or they feel okay this is not exactly okay is there a submission fee they have asked for any submission fee the only time we will ever ask you money for money to publish an emerald journal is if you have chosen to publish in golden open access route okay so only you have to pay if you want to go with the golden open access route or if you don't want to go with that if you want a simple publication then there is no cost at no other time will you be asked to contribute financially towards your article publication okay so this is what this publication in for this you don't want to pay if you uh, want to simply publish your journal article sorry so here you can we can check what is the aim and the scope it, it is related to finance accounting capital markets and governance business and society public management strategy and management comparative management organizational theory so it is related to management okay that is practice of management including solid theoretical and empirical articles so here you can find if you are if you are uh, um uh, research is based on the management then you can go ahead with this let us check whether it is there in uh, scopus and sei so i'm just going to check here okay so if i click you can see that it is there okay it is there in scopus and also we will check whether it is there in <clears throat> web of science as well yes it is there in web of science it is there in scopus still present okay so you can directly choose this so let us go to the next one uh, that is they haven't mentioned anything like uh, how many days they will take to respond or else we can simply check here about 
<coughs> about the journal if you could find something over here yes fine editorial theme author guidelines they haven't mentioned anywhere i have already checked okay so if you have some more uh, uh, doubts related to this okay you can simply mail them okay keyword article classification heading figure so they are just talking about the template okay so let us go to the next one <clears throat> next one is word academic energy medicine academic energy medicine this is what academic energy medicine so here you can find that this is the journal and if you want to know more about this academic medicine journal you will uh, know many thing about this and as i told if you want to know what is what is the frequency of the journal in few journal no they will not give uh, directly like uh, how many days they will take and everything if you want to know more about it you can simply go to the information for the authors and know about the scope and everything okay so this is the information of the author here you can find the complete information for the authors sometimes that might be in a um, pdf format or sometimes that might be in a uh in a uh, in, in a, another web page itself so you can just go and search for author of accepted peer review journal have the choice to pay fee to allow unrestricted online access okay this is the choice okay you can if you want to go with the open access then you have to pay a fee okay that is what they are mentioning here and i hope there is no other hidden charges here they haven't uh, talked about any hidden charges okay article processing for open access article is charged okay and should be paid within 30 days by the author funding agency or institution okay you can also pay through your your institution or the funding agency so they are costing only op um, open access charges that you can uh, check here okay and other than that if you want uh, the scope we will check whether the scope is mentioned here again again i'm just uh telling you that see in few journal they will not mention anything directly so in that case you can just simply take the mail id get the mail id from the contact us page and send them a mail it will be easy okay so since the name itself you can find that academic medicine so it covers almost all the medicine related topics okay other than that here you have about the journal you can find whether any other related information you are getting from for this about uh, this journal okay that is uh, areas focus include education and training issues health and science policy institutional policy management and values research and everything okay so related to medicine and they haven't mentioned about anything about how many frequencies they what is the frequency of the journal so here you can go and check previous issues to find what is the frequency of the journal <clears throat> okay so 6 uh, per year okay this is sorry this is jan right so we will check for uh, 2021 so that we will get a proper uh, frequency okay i think they are uh, they have 12 issues per year nearly 12 issues okay so every month they are uh, publishing fine let us check whether it is their uh, academic image medicine right okay i am talking about academic medicine we will talk about academic emergency medicine as well okay so here let us check uh whether whether academic medicine is there in the scope academic medicine is not there okay academic medicine let us find whether it is see few almost all the anaksha one journals know that will be uh, they uh, that is that will be indexed in sc web of science okay few will also be indexed in scopus so you don't want to worry about anything so this is what academic medicine is there in scopus as well okay if you want to know more about it you can just go through the uh, author information and templates and everything okay and the next one is what uh, academic academic emergency medicine this is what the 14th journal so here also you can find that uh, academic this is open open access okay so if you want to go with an open access then you have to pay for the article processing charges other than that you don't want to pay any charge okay so uh, uh, this is also you can find uh, that what is uh, that is what is the how, what is the frequency of the journal if you want to find that you can just go to the uh, previous publications that is uh, all issues you can go to the all issues and check what is the frequency of the journal so since 
uh, here they have mentioned like academic emergency medicine so of course it also relates to the medicine related uh, topic and here if you go to the uh, 2019 volume so you can find how many yeah he, even they are publishing every month okay that is 12 issues per year you can find that and in this journal also they haven't mentioned like how many days they will take uh, as of my understanding since they are publishing every month so uh, it, you will get the response soon okay even accepted or rejected any response you will get it soon so you can try this if you are your uh, uh, article or your research is related to medicine emergency medicine or something like that okay uh, and if you want to know more about it you can go to the author guidelines and see what is the other uh, uh, information which they have provided here okay like um, yes so submission categories what are the various category what is the aim what is the scope and everything okay so let us uh, check whether it is there in scopus as well um see it is always better if you cross check see even if i am showing you now it is better to cross check uh before you submit okay go to the uh, scopus and web of science and check whether it is still there in listed in that okay so academic emergency medicine is listed in sci and also it is listed in scopus as well so you can directly go ahead so in the next video we will discuss about the other journals from 16 to 20 and if you want to know more about the previous journals that is 1 to 10 you can check the playlist and extra one playlist hope you find this video very useful if you uh, if you need, have any question you can post it in the comment if you need any support you can let me know i can definitely help you out in the research i am not related to any consultancy i'm just helping you because uh, whatever the um, uh, whatever the difficulties which i have faced in my research i just wanted to figure out those uh, challenges and uh, difficulties and i just wanted to make it easy for other research scholars so that is the only thing so don't think that i am uh, i am running a consultancy or i own a consultancy and i am doing all these things because for the consultancy nothing like that okay this is all of the uh, uh, that is interest on other scholars who have to defend their uh, tphd and everything soon take care bye bye